Hello everyone. So in this video, we're actually going to fix one of this TI-80, uh, TI-30X as calculator. So the battery is dead. Um, it's, it seems to be working now, but it's actually dying. So we're going to actually, we're just about to throw some of these calculators away, but instead we're actually going to fix them. So let's do that right now. All right, so we're gonna continue. I simply, I mixed them up right now. So to know which one is the one that's battery is almost dead. I just like press randomly a number here. See, this one is good. But if I do it to this one, you see how it's fading up? So this is the battery that needs to be replaced. So we'll put this one to the side. Now you do have to make sure, I don't care about the brand, but I'm not sponsored by the brand. But you do have to make sure that the number is, um, 2032 okay 2032 cr 2032 and that's the number right there okay um that also is over here 2032 we're just about to throw them away and i say no i can replace the batteries so we're gonna do that right now it has uh, six screws one two three four five six this is the reset button okay so i'm gonna take them off i'll pass the video so that you guys don't have to watch me doing this Okay, so now that I have all six screws taken out, I can actually open this one here. See, it's not that bad. This here is a reset button, so you don't need that one for now. But this, see how easy it is to open it? And then um, the battery is located over here. I'm gonna try to focus this a little better. So the battery is located over here. And I'm going to take away this two more screws and then take away the battery and replace it. Okay. I'll do that right now. All right. So I just, I successfully moved the two screws. Do not remove this because it's a uh, solder here. So we just have to move this one and then you can actually move the battery. You can just use your fingers. If you want to use a screwdriver, you can. I prefer if you use like a plastic piece to remove it but i'm just going to use this one for now there so it's out now and of course now we're going to put the new battery here and just repeat the process right you're going to undo the process by putting the screws back all right so i'm going to do that right now just make sure that when you put in the back this goes on top here and you line them up and you are ready to put the screws now all right, so as you put in this back, make sure do not mix the screws because these two screws are longer than the other six. So these two are longer, and I'm just going to put them back now, okay? All right, so the two longer screws are already there, and now we are excited to close this one. See how easy it is? And once again, this is for us teachers that we're trying to make sure the calculators are working, and look at that. It's perfectly working now. And all we had to do is seal it back. And by the way, these batteries, you guys, that I bought, they're like three for a dollar. So we're not spending so much money. And at least now the kids will be happy to use the calculators. Okay. Thank you for watching. I'm going to put this back. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like so we can keep making videos for my channel. See you in the next video.